Okay, so the last piece of this we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the scores which you get from defeating the enemies and we're going to be writing those into a text file. So uh, it's really the last proper piece of this we're going to look at. So what we want to happen is that when our user actually finishes the game, um, we're given the score and we're just going to ask if you can um, just take the, uh, take the name as well. So name equals input and we're going to just ask the user to type their name in. And then this will be saved in that name variable and we are actually going to call after this bit in a minute we're going to actually call another function which will write this uh, variable into a text file so uh, let's actually write that function now so just underneath game over i'm going to do def and we're going to do call it write score and the items that we are going to be writing are the score and the name. So the name variable here and the score variable, which we've been tallying up as we go through the game. And what we want to happen is we want to open the file called uh, score.txt. And I'll explain that in a second. We're going to open it in append mode. And append mode means we can add another score to the end of it. So this score.txt at the moment, it doesn't exist. And you're going to see in a minute when we actually run it, you'll see a little text file pop up down the bottom here. That's because when something is appended, um, if the file doesn't actually exist, it will create the file. Um, if it does already exist, um, it will add to the file. Um, so that's quite good for the actual append function. If we were writing it, it would overwrite the file each time. So append, the file's not there, it's going to create the file, and then every time this runs, it'll actually add to the file. So it won't delete it every time. So what we want to happen is we want to write the name variable, first of all, into the file. Now, str changes this into a string. It actually already is a string, but we can't write anything unless um, unless uh, they're actually in their string form. So I usually just make sure when I'm writing, I put str in front of everything that I write just to make sure 100% that it is a string. So every variable that I write, and it's good, um, good practice for actually uh, casing your variables, casting your variables. I'm gonna split everything up by a comma. This is already a string because it's just green. So, and it's in speech mark, so we know it's a string. And the next one is not a string, it's a score. And a score is an integer, which means that if I was trying to write this and I didn't have str at the beginning of it, um, it would throw an error. I wouldn't actually be able to write it. So, that's why it's good practice to make sure that when you are writing, everything is a string. And the last thing we're going to do after that last comma is just write a new line. So there we go. So we've got our new line there and close the file. So once I have the name and the score, I can actually write that into this file. So I have the score here, I have the name here. Once I've done that with the game over, I need to now call this function, write score. And the attributes I want actually in there are score and name. So we're going to carry these through. That will those write those uh, those two items. That's written these two items into my text file, which you'll see pop up in a minute. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, once again I'm going to open that text file. This time I'm going to open it in read mode. Score.txt. Open it in read mode. And I'm going to iterate over the text file and I'm basically going to output each score for the user so they get like a high score table at the end. And it's a pretty straightforward piece of code. For line in file. Now, this word can be anything, but I'm using the word line so to help sort of demonstrate it. What I'm saying here is for each line that is in the file, do the following. 
this could be x or something else it's just a count it's just a variable name that we're using but I'm saying for each line which is in the file do the following the word file is here so for every line which is in this open variable file do this I want to split each line first of all so x line is a new variable equals line dot split I'm going to split it by the comma so splitting it gives it different positions and then I can actually expert, uh, output those different positions. Now you can use whatever variable name you want for this, it doesn't matter, I'm just using X line because I, it's basically kind of like the split up version of the line or you could use split line or something like that but whatever. And the last thing to do is now print out the two items. So. I have the name which is stored at position 0 and I have the score which is scored at position 2. So name here that's 0, sorry, and score is position 1, not 2. So I'll say that again. The name is stored at position 0 and the score is sc stored at position 1. What I want to do is take this variable which I've just split. So by splitting it I've now created the positions and I want to print out 0 and then print out 1. And what will happen is this will go round and round each line, each line in file, it will go round, splitting each line and then printing off 0 and 1 in each line until it gets to the end of the file and at which point it will stop. And the last thing we're going to do, once it's all said and done, is put our exit back in so that it actually finishes the game. So let's actually run this and see what happens. Okay, looking good so far. So in order to run it, I need to actually get myself a score. So I've got a score of 10 so far to start. So here we go. So I've now reached the game over part of the function. Um, it's telling me that I only scored 10, because I only uh, de defeated one goblin. Let's write my name in and keep an eye over this side of the uh, t uh, desktop because you might see something pop up in a second. So we've got score.txt which just popped up there and over here we've got type the name, type my name in, it's giving me the items which were in that text file and then it stopped the game. So we're looking at that text file. So it's actually written my name and my score is that text file. Now let's have another go and see if it actually updates with another user's score. Okay, so again, I've got still got 10, but let's see if I type my name in now, press enter. It's kept my first score, and it's added in my second score. Have a look at the text file. There they are, both my high scores. Try again. Well, I've scored zero this time. and we can see that every single time it's actually keeping track of our scores for us. So it's a good way of being able to keep track of who scored the best and who actually is at the bottom of your score table and to then be able to update and change your scores moving further on. So the last thing we're going to do um, in the next video is just add the um, different elements from the different things you pick up from the loot table, so increase our character's attributes from that and then this game is going to be done.